trans people are less than one percent of the population right and i don't know about you but it seems like we're in the headlines every single day and you'd be forgiven for thinking that we're responsible for all of the world's ills um constantly the debate about trans issues trans people are framed as the problem we're causing these huge problems to the rest of society uh, the sky is going to fall in whereas all of the evidence suggests that the complete opposite is true and that actually trans people suffer horrific violence. 45% of young trans people in this country, in modern Britain, have attempted suicide. Not thought about, attempted. I think we need an urgent public debate on who and what is causing these kids to feel so Absolutely. desperate and alone and what we can do about it to protect them. Anything that a trans person does that is bad or could be, see, be perceived to be a problem to people, we, we hear about it in the headlines. Schools say that they're going to relax their gender policy, their policy for school uniforms. It's, it's the end of the world. Kids are actually sitting there trying to kill themselves. Nobody talks about it. And you'll notice that I'm a transgender person. I am the only transgender person who's ever been on Question Time because the conversation about us is conducted over our heads. It doesn't actually include the people who this conversation affects directly. And um, it's, it's, it's really interesting because Peter actually doesn't believe that trans people's uh, identities should be respected. You wrote a piece for the Mail on Sunday um, crit criticising a school because they supported a child. You didn't think that they should be uh, referred to with, with the correct pronoun. So you called that referring to a trans person. Are you referring to me with female pronouns? You said that that was an attack on truth itself, just simple, basic manners. And I think that that's what a lot of this comes down to, really. But come, the to the, come, come, uh, the come to Mohammed's question. The question of all women shortlist. It's so odd to me because in my everyday life, I'm respected as a woman. Uh, you know, people in, in, in shops refer to me as Miss, increasingly Madam now. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> give it a few years. Um, I, my, my boyfriends have all been guys who've never dated a transgender woman before. Their families have accepted me. My friends accept me. My colleagues accept me. I, I go online and I see these awful, awful people purporting to be feminists. You know, telling, you would literally think that I was Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator. And, you know, it's... Uh, bigotry is bigotry, whether it's dressed up as religion, whether it's dressed up as, as feminism. And these same legitimate concerns that we're hearing, I think some people do have legitimate concerns, but I think there's a very loud vocal minority who are right. manipulating people's concerns in the same way that people did about the, the fear around gay teachers and linking it with paedophilia in the 1980s. And I think it's absolutely disgusting. Okay. <laughs> what are you saying?